we have so much juggling going on that we can't have someone like yourself answer a straight question about the nature of Sharia law. Now, if we can't do that, how do we expect uh, to have the American people and the people of the world understand where we draw the line? To an anti-democratic regime in Iran, when there are demonstrators in the streets against them, we have sort of a, a muffled response. A, well, we can't really go in and side with the demonstrators against this the Mullah regime dictatorship in Iran. We can't do that because, well, uh, that would be just too intrusive. Uh, during the uh, Iranian protest two years ago, Americans saw how the uh, Iranian people used the social media. And it's, it's no longer in dispute uh, the effect of the Internet uh, on the uh, Egyptian uprising. And... You know, they use Twitter, Facebook, texting, YouTube to gain a following in the country. Uh, and in fact, the admiration of much of the world in the process. Uh, however, many American people were shocked uh, to know years ago that uh, the Iranians were using the social media, uh, you know, to monitor protests and to down opposition leaders. And, and even worse, we discovered that companies, as was mentioned by Congressman Smith, with the presence in the United States were helping uh, the Iranian regime exploit technology and turn innovation uh, into violence. Uh, I'd like to know what the department is doing to work with uh, American companies that are selling their technology uh, and these products around the world to ensure that these products are not an obstacle to human rights at best or a tool of violence at worst. And I, I met with a group of seven um, Egyptians uh, from Cairo and Alexandria just recently come to the United States, many of them young professionals, and I ask them to give me their opinions on what needs to be done. And I'm just going to share with you sort of their list from the front lines. And the first observation it, they make is um, they, they shared with me that we need strict implementation of international human rights laws in this country and that there should be some discussion of this in the United States a guarantee of basic freedoms by holding accountable those who violate uh, international human rights laws. The second thing they see missing from the discussion uh, 